Hello guys. Hello. It's us, Alina. I'm Jack. And Jack. Uh, today we have a very useful lesson for you. We are going to talk about how to ask people in Russian what do you do. We have many different ways of asking that and it's different from English. Yeah. So in English, if you want to figure out someone's job or what their up to these days, you might ask, what do you do? Yes, but if you translate this question literally into Russian, it will be like, что ты делаешь? And in Russian we ask that more if we want to find out what the person is doing right now. Right now. Yes. Что ты делаешь сейчас? For example, if I give you a call and I ask, what are you doing? Are you free? Let's go out. Что ты делаешь? Ты занят? Ты свободен? Пойдем погуляем. This is what I will use. Что ты делаешь? Or if I'm surprised that Jack is doing something weird. Jack, что ты делаешь? <laughs> so it's not what do you do, like in English, okay? So if you want to ask people about their occupation, job, you can use another phrase. Чем ты занимаешься? Чем ты занимаешься means? It's sort of equivalent to what are you up to? Mm -hmm. Or like what are, literally what are you occupied? Yes, and чем is the question что in instrumental case. It's like with what are you occupied? Чем ты занимаешься? And then you can answer with um, your job or if you're a student, you can say that I'm at university. Я студент, я учусь в университете. Or я работаю в компании, я инженер. Right? So the answer can be different according to what you really do. So, чем ты занимаешься, it can mean what are you occupied with in the sense of a job, mm -hmm. or you can also use it to mean what are you up to right now, just like что ты делаешь. They are equivalent phrases. But you must not ever use что ты делаешь to ask who someone works as. It, it doesn't flow both ways. Okay. So, чем ты занимаешься, you can ask to find out the occupation or to find out what the person is busy with right now. Что ты делаешь is just the second meaning. What are you doing right now? Okay, our next phrase is кем ты работаешь? Now, this is interesting because mm -hmm. previously we had чем mm -hmm. ты занимаешься and now we have кем. So, чем, mm -hmm. as we discussed, is the instrumental form of what, an inanimate object of кем. Can is an animate object, it's кто, who, but changed into instrumental. And it's like in English, who do you work as, right? And um, there is a mistake that usually uh, foreign um, students do when they study Russian. They say, я работаю, and then they put a profession in nominative, я работаю инженер. This is a rude mistake, because as soon as you use работать, the verb работать, you must use instrumental after it. It's like in English, to work as. Mm. So you wouldn't say, I work an engineer. Mm -hmm. You'd say, I work as an mm -hmm. engineer. Okay, so in Russian, you use instrumental. Я работаю инженером, профессором, моделью, биологом, etc. Or, if you do not use the verb работать, you can just say Я инженер. It's like, I am mm. an engineer. And it's like you are putting an equal sign between Я and the profession. So there is nothing to change, it's nominative. Я инженер, Я учитель, Я биолог. Okay? And the last one. Кто ты по профессии? Кто ты по профессии? Mm -hmm. is, I'm, I understand that it is widely taught, but it's not always the right thing to say. Okay, why is that? So, profesie in Russian is much more what you're taught at university, the, the professional field that you enter into out of your major. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you ask a person, кто ты по профессии, who are you according to your profession, it's like people understand it more like what did you study at university, what was your specialty, what are you educated at, you know. But the problem is that in Russia mostly people do not work uh, in the same field that they studied at university. So a person might have, uh, I don't know, an engineering specialty, he might have studied engineering, but right now he works as a waiter in a restaurant. 
and it's a very common thing in Russian. So uh, it's not maybe what you want to find out when you're asking кто ты по профессии, okay? So you're more interested in finding out what the person is doing right, what the person does right now, right, as a profession, as a yeah. job. Okay, so you can ask кто ты по профессии if you want to find out more uh, his specialty, what he studied at university. Okay, let's review the phrases again. So the first one was Jack. Чем ты занимаешься? Mm -hmm. The second. Кем ты работаешь? In the last. Кто ты по профессии? Okay, these are three useful phrases you might use if you want to ask what do you do in Russian. Okay, hope it was useful. If you want to learn Russian in Russia, come to Petrozavodsk. It's snowy and beautiful here. Very nice. <laughs> okay, see you soon in our next lesson. Bye. Пока-пока.